Kiss me. Kiss me hard. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst movie kisses. All right, close your eyes. That way you can't be tempted. For this list, we'll be looking at big screen smooches that just weren't very good. There are all kinds of reasons a kiss can be bad, and these either failed on technique, appropriateness, motivation, or possibly all three. Which ones stand out as the worst for you? Pucker up and leave us a comment below. Number 10, Frank and Min. The Wings of Eagles. Hi. Hi. John Wayne was famous for playing the tough guy, the man's man. And although he could break out the romance when need be, in this kiss from The Wings of Eagles, it looks like he forgot to put away his tough guy. Go ahead, get it over with. Ask me where I have been. Maybe Maureen O'Hara's red hair confused him, and he took her for a raggedy Ann, because that's the only thing we can think of to explain why he shakes her around so violently before kissing her. Let's change it. Let's grow up before our kids do. We'd better hurry up. We're surprised she wasn't wearing a neck brace for the rest of the film. Number 9. Ginny and Harry's First Kiss – Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince In the novels, the Harry and Ginny love story is one of the epic romances of the Harry Potter series. See? You never know what you'll find up here. Everyone who's read the books can probably remember reading about their first kiss and feeling excited that the long-awaited moment had finally arrived, assuming no one had previously spoiled it for them. Harry and Ginny get together! <laughs> Sorry, spoiler alert! But in the movies, the scene just doesn't have the same resonance. And one reason for that could be the lack of enthusiasm and the blandness of the kiss that ended up on the screen. Harry even seems a little embarrassed afterwards, and we're embarrassed for him. Number 8. Bella and Jacob – The Twilight Saga – Eclipse I'm really sorry about last night. It couldn't have been easy on you. It definitely won't make my list of top 10 favorite evenings. Unlike the first two kisses on this list, there's nothing bad about the actual kiss between Bella and Jacob in 2010's The Twilight Saga Eclipse. It's even pretty hot. No, what makes this kiss one of the worst isn't the actual smooch, but why it happens at all. You see, as you might remember, Bella had already agreed to marry Edward at this point. Team Jacob had lost the Bella battle. You're marrying him? Jake, I... You knew he was listening! The only reason she asked Jacob to kiss her was in an attempt to try to keep him from going off and doing something rash. Kiss me! I'm asking you to kiss me. Now we know that, but did Jacob? It all feels very stringing along, playing with emotions by Bella, and that's just not cool. Werewolves have feelings too, you know. Number 7. Everyone – Cry Baby There are many wonderful things that start with the word French. French toast for breakfast, French fries are delicious, and many of you probably started your day with French press coffee. But perhaps the greatest French there is, is a French kiss. I've never given a French kiss before. Watch, it's easy. Although, unlike pizza, which even when it's bad, it's good, a bad French kiss is just, well, bad. We wiggle our tongues together. Which brings us to the montage from John Waters' 1919 musical rom-com, Cry Baby. It begins with Johnny Depp giving Amy Locaine her first French kiss, and proceeds to a number of wetter and more tongue-tangling smooches. Someday, and yes, we get 
get that it's all meant to be exaggerated and over the top, but that doesn't make the kisses any less awkward to witness. Number 6. Pee Wee and Gina Big Top Pee Wee That one looks like um, an automobile, yeah? Yeah, look, it's pulling right into a gas station. With Crybaby, we were critical of the kissers doing too much, particularly with their tongues. Well, it can go the other way as well, you know, as Paul Rubens proved with his wooden, unenthusiastic makeout session with Valeria Galino in 1988's Big Top Pee Wee. The build up to the kiss is quite hot as the anticipation grows. It looks like a man and a woman. But once their lips are locked, Galino looks to be giving it her all, while Rubens barely moves. He looks like he's trying to decide what to have for lunch instead of kissing this beautiful woman. And what makes it even more painful to watch is the fact that the kiss goes on for a minute and a half. Number 5. Andy and Benjamin – How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days Are you trying to get yourself killed? That's what it takes, yeah, and I pull over the gas! It might take 10 days to lose a guy, but we can tell you that you can lose a girl in just one day with a bad kiss. Kinda like the big smooch Matthew McConaughey plants on Kate Hudson at the end of How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Hey lady, what do you want to do? Take the lady's luggage back to her place, she has alternate transportation. Try not to get swept up in the moment and the sweeping romantic music and just watch the kiss. McConaughey grabs Hudson's face so hard with both hands, it looks like he's about to pull it right off her body in some kind of rom-com meets Mortal Kombat finishing move. You call my bluff? You bet I am. And when that doesn't work, he opens his mouth so wide, it's almost as if it's to inhale her internal organs right up and out of her body. Number 4. Claire and Owen – Jurassic World Is that Aunt Claire? They say that timing is everything. Well, when it comes to the big Claire and Owen kiss in Jurassic World, the timing, as Chandler Big might say, couldn't be more wrong. Oh, shut up! Claire has just saved Owen from having his face eaten off. But there are still dinos on the loose and people running around trying to stay alive. And given that they are at least partially responsible for what's going on, maybe they should focus on cleaning up the mess and not each other's tonsils. Save people now, kiss later. Number 3. Mark and Juliet – Love Actually we get it, Mark finally built up the courage to reveal his feelings to Juliet, and he did it in a super romantic way with the cue cards. But does he deserve a run out to the street kiss on the lips for it? She loves her husband, she doesn't want to be with Mark. But the way she grabs his face to kiss him, then lingers afterwards, feels like to quote Lloyd Christmas, So you're telling me there's a chance. And we can't talk love actually and bad kisses and not also mention Jamie and Aurelia. Yes, his marriage proposal is sweet and romantic, but the only thing worse than his broken Portuguese is his kissing technique. You learned English? Just in cases. He's lucky she didn't take back her yes. Number 2. Luke and Leia – Star Wars Episode 5 – The Empire Strikes Back you Must have hit pretty close to the mark, get her all riled up like that, huh kid? There's an expression in sports. 
that a tie is like kissing your sister. And for those of you wondering, the expression dates back to at least 1892. So it was not in reference to the 1980 Luke and Leia Star Wars smooch. Well, I guess you don't know everything about women yet. A smooch that, we should point out, was between two people who had no idea they were at all related at the time. Or was it? Remember what Leia says after she finds out they're siblings? I know. Somehow. I've always known. We're hoping that by always, she means only after she planted a big kiss on Luke. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. Superman and Lois Lane, Man of Steel. Are the still smoking ruins of Metropolis the most appropriate place for a big kiss? You know they say it's all downhill after the first kiss. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that only counts when you're kissing a human. William and Penny Lane, almost famous. If someone is so out of it that you have to hold them up, don't kiss them. Mm. Oh. Okay, what do we get here? Marty and Lorraine, Back to the Future. It's not just us. Even his mum knew it was wrong the moment it happened. You know what I do in those situations? What? I don't worry. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Amy and Bumper – Pitch Perfect 2 we belong, we belong A great movie kiss often comes with a great build-up that works up to that moment when eyes meet and lips lock. In Pitch Perfect 2, we definitely get that as Fat Amy sings and paddles her boat across the lake towards Bumper, the target of her affections. Belong to the land, we belong to the thunder. However, once the kiss finally happens, that's when the great build-up turns into the worst kiss. Actually, what Bumper and Fat Amy do here is less kissing and more just mashing faces together. And then there's her tongue, which, instead of finding its way into his mouth, appears to be trying to lick it clean. Sure, this scene is played for laughs, and they get those laughs as well as the top spot on our list. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.